Hey there, I'm Rocky Wyatt. I'm the Youth and Family Minister at Grace Chapel, and this is my lovely bride, Ashley Wyatt. And these are our dear friends, Jeremy and Marin Chupp. We've been in small group together for the last couple years that uh, I have been leading with Ashley, and we have loved getting to know them. We've been actually leading a group for three and a half years, and it's been awesome. It's been great. The the people have changed the number of people as they've come in and out we've added some lost some uh, they've moved away and things but we have loved the relationships we've developed in there and i will tell you we believe in small groups so much that every person at grace chapel from newborns through adults all ages can be in a small group at grace chapel there at the core of what we do because we elevate relationships so highly and i'm grateful the leaders do that I know that for me, I think God designed it this way. I grow closer to God when I'm in relationship with other people. And so it's been really good, but now it's time to multiply small groups. And Jeremy's now leading a small group with Marin, and, um, and that is wonderful, but it's also challenging. Yeah, through our small group experience, we've grown really close to families like the Chups and other families in our group. And... We've been through good times and fun times and also some more challenging times together. But even our kids love the small group environment. They can't wait for Friday night. They love being with, with the that. other kids. Yeah, that's true. And um, so that makes multiplying hard because I feel like we're having to say goodbye to some really um, incredible people. But I, I know I want other people to get to experience this rich community that we've we've experienced and so I'm choosing to trust those people who have told us and they've multiplied and they've told us before that we can still keep these friendships going and and now we get to go and make make new ones. Man I, I couldn't agree more. I, the the bonds and the relationships that we've made are spectacular. I mean they're, it's just a a neat environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they don't go away. They don't. It, the Really the nice thing is that, that those bonds that we have can go from the 10 people that we had in our group to 20 and 30 and keep going. I, I see on the host team so much new faces coming to Grace, yeah. which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And I, what, what a great experience it would be to have those new faces and even old faces be able to join together mm -hmm. just in, a, in the same community just like we had. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, so, that's what we needed yeah. when we came into Grace and and now we see all these new people that are going to need that experience that we got to share because of you guys and um, it, it is it's a challenge to multiply and then it's a wonderful thing because we still have our relationship and now we get to grow it to other people mm -hmm. and um, get yeah. deep relationships with other people and our kids get to have new friends mm -hmm. and keep their old friends. Mm -hmm. and, and that's hard, like there are two really valuable things of small groups and they are kind of in tension with one another and one side, we want people to share life together. We want people to feel so connected that that's a very trusted, confidential, comfortable group of people to be around. But the problem is, and this is what I experienced and kind of felt convicted of this year, is if we elevate comfort and fellowship with this small, kind of almost exclusive, it could get to that point, group of friends, because we cherish each other so much yeah. that we don't let others into that, it becomes the end goal. It becomes the end thing. And that's what I started to realize is that's not what God designed community for, certainly not Christian community. And therefore, we now realize it's a means to an end. The end being helping more people know Christ, more people grow in their relationship with Christ. And we believe that happens better. It's accelerated through community of people who are all trying to do that. And so we have felt convicted in our leadership. And I'm just so grateful you guys have that we'll maintain a friendship and maintain that unity. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> but that through multiplying and more leaders like you guys and out of both of our groups, there will be other people who will lead and we'll just keep multiplying because we'll value the friendships, but there will be eternal destinies changed, you know, yeah. uh, eternal decisions made because of people being in those uh, relationships. And so 
we're going to multiply our small group because we want more people to know Christ and experience His grace. God of mercy, sweet love of mine, I have surrendered to your design. May this love stretch across. Bye.